Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Mr. Trek here with a most exciting review of this Bronco. It's a 2021 Sasquatch first edition with a 2.7 turbo, twin turbos, 10 speed automatic. It's loaded, it's like the most loaded one you can buy. It's like one of 7,000 units, but it's really cool. 35 inch tires, giant fender flares. And I'm here with Anthony, the off-road man, because <laughs> he knows what he's doing. So we want to go out and really give this a good test. So we've been up here at Mid St. Brain and whatever the Coney, Coney Island, or, yeah, Coney Flats, testing this out. Aired the tires down, went everywhere. We did water crossings. It's cool, but you'll want to see that. So join us for the review. Wait a minute. How much power does this have, Anthony? Three fifteen and four hundred ten foot pounds of torque. Awesome, and it's plenty of power. And it's got a four seven rear end, four point seven gear ratio. Isn't that wild? Blows my mind. But it's really cool. So join us to review. You'll enjoy it. There may be several of these videos. Let's see how much room we have. Yeah, you're right back to the rock rail. There you go. Yeah, now you can turn into it and your other tire should lift you back up now we can see look how big that screen is that's 12 inches and then the one in front of anthony's eight and i'll go through all the different programs there because this has the go modes what does go mean go anywhere off-road terrain go or over something. any terrain go over any terrain <laughs> 10 speed, and this has got oh shoot handles all over the place, kind of like a razor. It's got one on each side and one in the middle. And it's also cool up here, and we'll show you what all these gadgets do. It's where your front and rear lockers are, your disconnect sway bar, and that uh, lock in that rear tire when you go around corners. And it's all rubber proof. It's rubber, so it's waterproof because you, know, you take the same tops off, you're going to get water in here. But I've noticed that, you know, the middle stuff is not, it's like regular knobs on the radio and the heat conditioning controls but in the steering wheel all those knobs are rubber and up the upper dash they're rubber coated so I guess we'll have to get this wet and see what it looks like this is going to be one of accessorizable machine too it's got so many things you can put on it like what the Jeep Wrangler is taking advantage of you're going to see the same thing with this Bronco and all over the Bronco it's labeled for accessories actually it'll say accessory point whether it's the mirrors or the hatch or the fenders or the hood. We'll go over all of that cool stuff. We're actually in that this corner, excuse me, this corner, uh, whatever they're called, so you can tie your, your uh, canoes down and your kayaks. And maybe even you can use it to sight the edge of the truck because this is a wide hood. But this thing is made to do everything you could possibly want to do. I'm sure it's made for those roof tents. But, we'll see how easily it is to take off the T-roof. Maybe even the back panel. It has little pouches in the back we can put them in. But anyhow, we're up here in the, in the Rockies. Got these some pictures of the beautiful rocks up here. Always like driving through all this, canyons. And we are on that's St. Vrain, South St. Vrain Drive. We're on Highway 7. It's probably the most expensive one you can buy. But anyway, it's supposed to afford to, we're going to see how close we can get to the top of a 35-inch tire. But anyway, where we're going, the Mid St. Vrain, it's got water crossings, it's got rocks, it's got everything we want. We may go to a few other places and see just what this Bronco is capable. I mean, everybody's telling us about it.
and it's made it it actually steers and handles much better off-road than it does on road not that it's bad on road it's a very usable vehicle a lot of people you know because of the expense of them they're going to have to buy one as a daily driver not just off-roading but uh so and it's very popular to me you know it's like the h2 hummer everybody wants to see when you're getting gas or stopped anywhere and it's pretty magnificent how many people want to look at it but we're going to do some trails up here tomorrow i'm going with my son david we're going to do some trails up in the mountains but i love it i've been driving this thing for seven it'll be seven days tomorrow and it's just too cool but we'll be getting some reviews on this from anthony and what he thinks of it we go off road and how well it does i mean you're happy the way it drives now. 100%. Rack and pinion steering, so it's tight steering. And this is a five link on the back. You got the tracking bar and the four bars that hold the axle in place. And you got independent suspension on the front. It's got Bill Steins, you know, for 30 years we called them Bill Steins, and everybody's called them Bill Steins. So I guess that's what they are. They got a little piggyback oil reservoirs on them. The Sasquatch is a pretty cool package. It's got the big thinner flares and the 35 inch tires. A lot of toys on here. I haven't figured out what this is. You know, that's the quarter inch hole, but none of my stuff has a hole coming out of the camera. It comes out of the tripod. So I haven't figured out how to attach cameras on the dash. It's made for that. And then it's got a plug in UPS or USB. So you can actually probably watch it on the main 12 inch screen, which is so cool. You got 12 inch in the middle that shows you everything, and you got 8 inch on the other side. I'll go through all the different programs there. It just has the goat modes. What does goat mean? Go anywhere, off-road terrain, go or sorry, any terrain. Go over any terrain. <laughs> Ten speed. And this has got oh shoot handles all over the place. Kind of like a razor. It's got one on each side, and one in the middle. But now we're showing 82 degrees. So that makes a pretty big navigational screen in the center. He's got all toys. The off-road switches up there. You can tie in your winch and your all your lights. I just put a bunch of lights on my Jeep. So, yes, you can about accessorize this thing to your heart's content. I like the mirrors. They're not toy mirrors. That's what I'm into. But these are decent mirrors. And you don't have to take them off to take the doors off, which is nice. I think that's what Ford did. They basically examined a Wrangler and looked at the good points and the bad points, and that's a lot of the stuff that they did to this Bronco. That's what they do in the competitive world of off-road trucks. You go out and see what the other guy's doing. Looks like Ford did a good job of that, of analyzing the off-road market. So they can you know, jump in the middle of it. Because this Bronco, we haven't had this Bronco in a long time. Let's see, when was the last one? That when OJ went to prison? How long ago was that? 97, I think. Yes. Yeah. Nice view, huh? Yeah. You should be riding that dog. <laughs> I wish it was Eddie. <laughs> Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> so Anthony is going to air down the tires. Of course, we'll air them up when we get done. Jeez. You can do four at a time or two at a time? Four. Wow. You're like a real off-road <laughs> off dude, man. You're the dude. <laughs> cool. So do you have a gauge on that, or how do you know when it's done? Oh, you're just watching the truck gauge, okay. Man, that's nice to be able to air up or air down all four tires at the same time. Anthony's like a true off-roader. Yep, disconnected the sway bar and your rear locker is now on. Okay, then you could do the rear the front locker when you want it. Yes. Because that is cool. So rock crawl mode. 
Now you're going to use this here, watch this button. Yep. That's the one tail, that's the trail, one pedal drive, active, if you want to use it. If you don't, you don't. I mean, when you put it in gear, you've actually got to give it the gas, because otherwise it'll just sit there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, as soon as you let off, you're braked. <laughs> That'll can, take some getting used to. Yes, you can try that, or you can try the uh, the cruise control one. trail connects to the other end because if you do the loop on this it goes back to the highway okay. it doesn't come back here so if your trail connects on the other end we'll be good we'll keep going but I don't I don't know that other trail and how it connects because you guys get into it somewhere south of here right yeah you guys are doing it I never use them till I really might you get them. stuck huh? no I get them before <laughs> I get stuck but <laughs> yeah you turn a lot better when they're off that's right on my Jeep, I put in uh, a Spartan full yep. walker in the back and a Spartan limit slip on the front. Yep. And 430 gears. And it grabs pretty well. I have 529s in mine, factory locker in the back, and then I have a Eaton electric in the front. Well, that's why you can climb all those big rocks. Yep. I haven't got a chance to use it. I only on two small rides with my Jeep, so there's a lot that I'm still learning. I'm used to it. an ATV or side by side, you have so much clearance on those, you can see everything. Mm -hmm. On these, you really need some cameras because you're kind of guessing where your line is. So now, do you split the rocks or what do you do? You can go on top of them. It looks like some interesting stuff. I just see a giant rock in front of me. <laughs> so you're going to go up and over it, huh? Okay. Yes. See, it only weighs 5,000 pounds, a little more than five. It's a 35.5 approach angle, a 20 degree breakover angle, a 29.7 departure. Now the problem with that rock would be a little bigger, could have got the back tires up on it, but it was too far from the back tires. Yes, sir, body on frame. It's got a lot of skid plates. I'm going to drive over a camera and see them all, but I did climb underneath there and took a bunch of pictures of it. And, uh, vile stains, built stains, whatever you call them. <laughs> There's a new name for those. Wow, this has got 35.6 cubic feet of cargo. Yes, indeed. I like mud terrain tires. That's what these are supposed to be. I'm surprised most mud terrain tires I've had are a lot bigger ones. These are it's really a nice tire. I'm just kind of surprised. I'm calling that a mud terrain. Yes, indeed. One tire up around, a little bit. This is nice about Colorado trails. Is there's trees and there's water. You go to Moab, I mean, yeah, they got some cool cliffs and great big rocks, but you don't see that many trees and you don't see that much water. I really like the scenery in Colorado. Also, I to see a deer or a moose poke its head out. I'm still waiting to photograph my first bear. I've not seen a bear. Everybody I know seen a bear but me. When I was born in Colorado. I gotta see a bear. I got a video one. Not too many aspens in here. They seem to like aspens. Always wondered about this mid St. Brain. A big giant pile of rocks right at the beginning. Is that supposed to scare you or intimidate you or whatever? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love this front camera. That is so cool. We got a lot of rocks ahead of us before we get to our first water crossing. The mid St. Brain Trail, the bottom of Bunt School Road. Four miles, ten miles, some of the pass is ten miles away. See, this looked a lot like what the pole road was Sunday. It's a big holes in between all those other ones. 
Looks like you got a hard side and an easy side going up this one. Front camera for my Jeep. This is just too cool. 12 inches, and you can see a lot in 12 inches. And there's some big boulders coming up. Well, the nice thing about this trail is it's pretty flat. You're not climbing up the mountain like a lot of ones you are, so you're fighting gravity and rocks. Here, you're mostly just fighting rocks. Which might be too easy for you. We may have to just go find us a mountain for you to climb, because <laughs> you don't like it easy. Nope. What's the name of that song that Tina Turner sings? We like it rough. Well, look at that big boulder. Holy cow. Giant rocks all over. And I see what Anthony did. He got us on top of a giant rock. And we don't have that back wheel off the ground or not. Nope. So we need a bigger rock then. That's cool. It, not go over it. Yeah, that's why the, the crazy goat name. Let's see how much room we have. Yeah, you're sitting right on the first skid plate under the transmission. Back off of it? Yeah, because you got you're going downhill and you're not near the rock with the back tire. So you're gonna be dragging quite a bit. Yeah, you're right back to the rock rail. There you go. Yeah, now you can turn into it and your other tire should lift you back up. Cool, and the tire is off the ground on the other side. Well, that's too cool. So whatever these cameras are, does that show you where your line is? Yeah. Climbing those rocks, that's yep. pretty cool. Give you actually a line line to keep your line in the right spot. Cool. There's got to be a rear tire one. I don't think it's just there. We go. That's the one I'm looking for. You found tire. it. That's the front tires. Okay. Well, somewhere I've seen the back tires. Don't know how they do that exactly, but that's cool. You can look at it. You can see where the rocks are. Come right up on the tire. That's pretty handy. Yeah. All kinds of tire views. Well, I would show you when you're walking off the rock, I guess. And that's the. The big front three, camera. Yeah, the big 360. So their bull bar, this has like, it looks like a Raptor bumper, their special bumper that comes apart in pieces. Well, that's cool, having a having a line marking for your tires. That'd come in handy. You better get one of these, Anthony. I really think you need one. This this is you all over. <laughs> What's well, only 63,000? Well, you can get the basic two-door Probably in the 30s. Nope, we gotta have four door. I gotta have four door. You got a family. That means you're always gonna have an automatic. So seven speeds, you're only gonna one two door. Yeah. I like automatic better. Yeah, well, I do too. I'm not gonna five speed on my Wrangler, but oh well. My first Jeep. You can't always be choosy. Look at that log. Okay, we're gonna traverse a log and a few boulders. We get up here where. I'm out of the danger. I'll get over here. Okay, Anthony. Oh, I thought you were gonna climb on the rock. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh! And over the rock. Oh, holy cow. That looked pretty cool. Good thing we aired down the tires. Get a good print there.
water, some logs, and some rocks. And your hood camera's on. That's cool. Does it show a red light on the back side of it too? It's on, I'm watching it. Okay. Picking this all kinds of wood up here. I guess the, the trees fall over and they just kind of pound them in place. Look at those trees. Maybe that slows the water down so it doesn't erode the, the dirt and the trail as much. Too cool. Well, you use those surround lights and you can see all these camera angles at That's night. Right. That would be fun. I'll have to try that. Go out there and turn on all the outside lights. Use the cameras to tell us where to drive. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, okay. you guys stacked some rocks. That's not fair. Hi. Now turn passenger. Yeah, you're good. Keep it going. Straight Well, you guys must have measured that when it missed everything. What year is that Raptor? 16, I think. Uh -huh. Straight? Yeah, straight. I'm only stacking rocks because it's not his vehicle, so. Oh, I'm yeah. not trying yeah, to break it. We, we bent one of the, the, the little running boards up going oh. up this, so yeah. we're taking it super careful down. Well, that's pretty long wheelbase, those oh, Raptors. Yeah. You guys got a uh, YouTube channel? Yeah, MrTruck.com. Can I help TFL Truck? Oh, so. Do you want me to spot you or not? I got a camera. Oh, you got a camera? Well, let me go over there and video you since you're stuck. That's where you want to be. That tire off the ground? Yeah. Holy cow, there's a tire off the ground. I got a video of that. <laughs> wow. This is brand new too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're about a foot and a half from the rock now. Nice job. <laughs> cool. Wow. That would be the nice thing. Just yep, there's a wood fence sneaking up on us here. We're pretty close. Yeah, we're like very close, but isn't that cool? A camera shows you that we're not touching it. Wow, man, this is just too cool. Yeah, you can take this up on some of those big cliff shelves and just get right next to the edge. <laughs> I'll take you up there. Yeah. <laughs> You ever been to that bear? What's it called? Bear or something? Black bear. Black I'm bear. Not, I don't have time to take. That's to get quite down. a ways away. Yeah, that's a problem with some of these. There's a lot of good trails in Colorado, but we're kind of running out of them up here. We've been on most of them in this area. Oh. Hope to turn it back on. That's 
customized through this. It was really deep, but not this time of the year. The tire thing again. Look outside there. It shows we got 40 pounds in that front tire. That sensor's totally whacked. Mm -hmm. Keep it coming. Well, that Raptor's an awful long wheelbase. I'm really surprised they're out here. It's a dune buggy. That's kind of a weird obstacle. This is a big rock here. Yeah, big rocks right in front of you. There's already some bunch of tire tracks on that one. Rubicon just went to 35s this last year, didn't it? Oh, did you ring? Oh, I don't think so. I thought that's what they did just recent thing. They had to. Cheaper. Affording some big rocks.
look at all those rocks. Oh, that is too cool. Is that the tire? It's, no. It doesn't tell me nothing when it beats. It's done a couple yeah. times. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if, if all this, when we put it in four-wheel drive, low range, if that shuts off all those And it should, like the Tacoma, things. it yeah. shuts everything off. Yeah, because all that stupid gun yeah, shuts off the traction control, but the, all these backup beepers need to shut off. Ken, with Mr. Truck here with a really exciting trailer accessory. You know, trailer tires, it's a big deal. you got problems, especially 100 degree weather like we're having this year. You know, you're going to blow tires, and the tires are going to blow, take out your fender, take out your clearance lights, and then you're going to sit there in the side road fixing your tire while your horses get hot. Sun coming down 100 degrees, no doors open, and no fan. It's horrible. And I see it happen all the time, and so I go to higher ply tires, and I go to Tucson Tire Pressure Monitoring System. You see, we talked about this before. They got so many options. You can go with bands on the Alcoa wheels, that's such a small hole. You can go with the tire pressure monitoring where you have a valve stem and the, re and the relay below it, the transmitter. And then you can do the same transmitter on a band. And now the new one, I call them space balls, but they're actually tire pressure monitoring from Tucson. Ball sensors, like a ping pong ball, rubber coated, and you put this in your tire. You, you crack open the bead, throw it in there, and it bounces around, goes right for a little while, and then once you get up to speed, it just sticks to wherever it's at. You know ahead of time what's going on. This gives you special alerts. Before, if the tire pressure is too high, it goes off, beeps and flashes. Too low, it beeps and flashes. Same way with heat. Too high, it flashes. Too low, it flashes and beeps. So, it's awesome. And this will save you a lot of money. You know, the price of a tire will pay for one of these puppies. And why would you not want to know what's going on with the trader tires?